Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode. Hope you're having a beautiful and had a beautiful weekend bitcoin just dropped from 62k to 58k on the news that um uh, ukraine attacked a russian nuclear power plant and it's on fire and on that announcement we dropped to, from 62 to 58 total viewers 46 thousand on bitcoin price dot live crypto market cap 2.15 trillion um people discussing the markets and the economy fear and greed index is still at fear at 39 but going back to greed funding fee is still negative which is incredible at this price funding fee negative at 58,700. we had a big dip on bitcoin in the last few hours um just this is when it went on we we pumped up to 62 and then it was announced that a nuclear power plant on russia is on fire after an attack from ukraine and that's what spooked the market and we dropped from 62 down to 58 i'm going to do technical analysis on bitcoin i'm going to do technical analysis on ethereum and then i'm going to read your comments hit the subscribe button smash up thumbs up button turn on the bell let's jump into technicals for bitcoin now we're going into the technicals doge down four percent pocket uh, the market dropping quite hard on that um nuclear the nuclear power plant attack uh tesla slightly uh, mcrt slightly down ethereum two percent total market cap three percent bitcoin taking 3.4 percent hit bouncing back from 58 binance three percent doge four percent uniswap four percent pocket world eight percent on that drop on that news let's go into bitcoin start off always i always start off on monthly or weekly time frames the weekly candle is about to finish in five minutes everyone we're about to have the weekly candle finish in five minutes and i'm going to just so what that candle is making it's a hammer candle what is a hammer candle hammer candle is when the price goes down and bounces back and finishes the week back up that creates a pick almost looking like a hammer so this is a hammer candle forming now you can see forming on bitcoin for the week we have five minutes left so that's a bullish pattern if we can finish a little bit more up um it'll be a stronger hammer candle also the weekly volume one of the bigger volume weeks the fourth biggest volume week on bitcoin in the last few years or actually of all time so you've had we had bigger volume on the ftx crash in 2022 we had 2.7 million bitcoin traded at the very bottom of the market at 15k we had 2.2 million bitcoin traded for the week um, in 2000, March 2023, before the start of the run, 2.2 million Bitcoin traded. And then this week, we've had the fourth highest volume week of Bitcoin at 1.5 million Bitcoin traded. So one of the highest volume closes. Um, Crypto Guru Bot fired a blue buyer back in February 2023 at 20K. Still a blue buyer now. It hasn't flipped to a red sell. Bitcoin, in, a golden cross still heading up. Bitcoin indicator bot fired a sell at the top, has not yet fired a buy. Um, I use all the indicators together, everyone. So you have to make sure you use all. Stochastic is turning up big volume. Volume predicts price. As I always say, volume predicts price. And we have huge volume on Bitcoin, which is good news. Let's go close on to the four hourly. Uh, sorry, on the daily, stochastic turning to head down. It was the weekend, so we did have Sunday low volume. And that's what happened yesterday. We had low volume and someone used that to drop the market again with this bad news. We're in the second to third impulse wave, everyone, which is the most powerful of the impulses. And my trade from yesterday, the riskier trade, the safer trade, it came down to 58,268. My trade didn't activate. It was at 50,048. So I literally missed it. We came down to the low was... Um, the low was 58,264. My trade was 58,048. So we missed it by $220, unfortunately. If you haven't yet taken the trade, let's go closer on the daily heading down, four hourly also heading down. But big spike on that bounce. I would try to take, I would keep the same, if not yet taking a trade, I would take the same trade. Uh, 57,700, stop loss 56,953 and take profit 105k for the longer term move um and i do expect that this could be the bottom today because usually we have the bottom on the sunday when they try to attack it when the etfs close then when the etfs come back on line they start buying up again so that's the trade i'll take on bitcoin 57,700 stop loss 56,953 take profit 105 risk towards 62 times risking 762 dollars to make 47 thousand dollars per bitcoin with no leverage with 10x leverage four hundred and seventy thousand dollars um, now I'm going to show you my half a million dollar account going under the video. 
sign up down below to buy but you get a sixty thousand dollar bonus take the crypto master course to learn all this learn trading if you've been um invest like trading and then crying or trading and then praying or opening trades with no stop loss no take profits or you don't know why you open the trade take the crypto master course will be the best 333 dollars you ever spent and then join us in the telegram there's thousands of you in there anytime hundreds online my Bybit account right now, 577, 577,000. This last week, we went from 530,000 to 612,000 to 599,000. And then today, we from 602 and then dropped off 23,000 yesterday on this Bitcoin drop. Most of my portfolio is actually Bitcoin. So you can see here, I've, I'm holding Uniswap 11%, USDT 28%, Bitcoin 29%. So I'm mostly in bitcoin mcrt 13 percent doge seven percent world four percent so mostly in bitcoin let's do ethereum now i'm going to do the total market cap and then i'll read your comments so ethereum drop down to two well drop down to a low of two five hundred let's start off always on the weekly oh, i hit my stop oh no it didn't hit my stop loss it didn't activate that trade yet um, I set it as the place to activate, so 2-3, so it didn't come close to activating. B Ethereum didn't drop with that Bitcoin drop, which is interesting. Barely moved, like Ethereum went from 2-7 down to 2-5, so it only dropped 150 when Bitcoin dropped 4%. Interesting, very interesting. Showing strength on Ethereum. And on the weekly count, this is, let's get rid of this, uh, this is the start of the new count on Ethereum. We're in the second, currently we're in the first, second corrective. Now, hmm. A, B, bounce, C, corrective, first wave. So I would say that we start the new impulse from this drop. I would start the new count on Elliott Wave count on Ethereum. Um, from this new point, resistance, First impulse, second impulse, resistance, breaking out, possible, or coming back in. We have to monitor that one. That's how I would do the count on Ethereum. So far, first impulse is in effect, resistance 2.8, bounce off 2.5, second to third impulse starting. Let's see if we play out. And then most likely it does this, some bad news that keeps us sideways for the next few months. Possible, the election also could be. Let's go close on to the four hourly. Yeah, I'd wait till 2285 possible to enter a Ethereum long. Risk to word is 35 times. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go total market cap, 2 trillion. Very cheap in my opinion. Stock market cap is 100 trillion. Crypto market cap, 2 trillion. So low. Week, on the week, I've got to get rid of my old counts because they're covering all the... Getting rid of all my old Elliott counts, everyone. You got to see them beautifully. ABC correction finished. And I think we're now in the new count, new Elliott Wave impulses. First impulse in effect, stochastic turning up. So on the weekly, crypto market cap looks nice. Like if we look on the monthly and the weekly, huge cup and handle on the total market cap cup. Handle that if this breaks out, takes us to the base of the cup, which is a target of 4 trillion. Actually, is that the base? A lot of bullish signs for the total market cap of cryptocurrency. Two oversold the altcoins. Didn't even move when Bitcoin dropped. Yeah, so that would be the breakout target. 3.6 trillion on the total market cap. Let's read some of your comments from yesterday. What should I expect if I join? Take the courses, learn. You'll get lessons, 12 hours. Um, you join all the other gurus in the chat and you can speak with everyone. You'll learn how to trade. You'll learn how to take profits. You'll learn how to set trades. James, can you please do more of these videos? Really love your energy. And thanks again, my brother, for taking your time teaching us. Big up to you for the father of, of crypto gurus. Thank you very much, Rome. Um, Ape and DYDX. Oh, I'm going to stick to just the comments. They tried that yesterday. There was bombing news, but market never reacted. Today, it did react on the, the nuclear power plant on fire in Russia. We did have a drop. D James, you have mentioned ETH multiple times. Did it already. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Muhammad, Akil, check the death cross 50 MA to on Bitcoin around 28K. When it changed, turned into a golden cross in a month, we get a parabolic move from Bitcoin from 28 to 70K. I feel we are close to the bottom in September and rate cut will fuel the parabolic move. 
I also think Bitcoin, like for me, it's not looking weak. Bitcoin and crypto is looking very strong, even though we've had these um, these drops. James, in order for it to reach 50K, we need some FUD. No? Yes. And we got it. It was the nuclear power plant. We came down to 58K. Good morning, bro. Uh, Sheep, I'll do tomorrow. Good morning, bro. Pump. Pump would love to see Bitcoin 250. Eventually, we'll get there. Hey, James, you're a crypto wizard. Any chance you can take a look at Brett from Perth, Australia? Hello, Range, bro. Daily power. I'm going to stick. So, Brett, and I'll try and do meme coins tomorrow. I wouldn't be buying memes, everyone, in this market. The market now. So, after. So, remember this. When Bitcoin pumps, all coins drop. When Bitcoin drops, all coins drop. When Bitcoin starts going sideways, once it becomes stable, that's when you're going to start getting the altcoin bull market. And in my opinion, first it's going to go to Ethereum. It's going to because the Ethereum ETF. Then it's going to go into the Ethereum alts because of the Ethereum ETF. Then you're going to have the the big altcoin bull market. And the top of the market is September to October 2025, which is 560 days from the halving, which is the same two times that happened in the two previous halvings. <sighs> Love you all. That I'll keep it at that. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up, and turn on the bow. Ethereum, Bitcoin, total market cap. Give us the overall picture. In my opinion, looking very bullish actually. Bitcoin drop right now sustained really well. Wasn't much of a drop on a Sunday. Last time they used the Sunday with the ETFs closed to attack it much more. Have an amazing day. Let me know in the comment sections any tickers you'd like me to analyze. Love you all. Have an amazing week. Only think what you want to have happen. Think positively. Positively. Only like if you sit there and ponder all day what can go wrong, what's wrong with my life, why is my life so shitty you're gonna manifest more of a shitty life for yourself if you sit there all day and go why is my life so blessed why am i so lucky why do i have the most amazing life ever why am i so rich money and abundance and happiness will keep coming into your life more love you all have an amazing day keep watch of your thoughts and i'll see you all again tomorrow